Thanks for joining me again. Wow, back on the coffee van. Um, today's a really interesting episode. It's the big one, cutting the hole in the side of the van. Get no, we'll grind out and give it some of that. Um, yeah, stay with this one. It's an absolute gem. There goes nothing. Got the Dewalt cutting blade, thin cutting blade there. I'm gonna chop the hole out. Let's go for it. <laughs> I want it rats. They might not have any fingers in a minute. This cutting blade though does go through really well. It's a thin one, so it doesn't take too much material away. I was concerned though that the the hot embers, the hot sparks, would damage the paintwork that we've done. I say concerned, but we've got to go over it again. It's only had the one coat, so it's gonna have a second coat over this. But it's going through that really well, look. I'm trying to keep the steady hand in. Follow the line. And then I'm going to try and go along the top. Slowly put it in. And then work his way along. Now this top edge, as you're working your way along, it has got the stanchions on the inside which are quite thick and the depth of the blade wouldn't be enough to go through the front of the, the skin and through the, the stanchion as well not all of it anyway it's always going to leave us a little bit which I can finish off later on the inside so at least I know even by cutting all the way around this on the outside the, the thing ain't going to fall in it'll just stay there on the stanchions on the back I've still got the masking tape on the roof to stop any of those um, embers or the iron filings that are coming away sitting on the roof and sitting in, into the paintwork I'm not going to speed this I'm going to keep it at real time it's kind of pleasing watching it go through there but you can see how slow it's going now and how I'm trying to keep it you know all in line sparks are going all over me all over my face <laughs> they're going everywhere But most of them are bouncing off the paintwork. There doesn't seem to be any that are actually burning into it. Slowly but surely we're getting there. Now this is one of them stanchions here. Look, you can see it on the seam. I'm just going to move my, uh, my, my trellis along a little bit. So we can carry on cutting. That blade is wearing down a little bit now. I might have to change it. I think I do change it in a minute. Still cutting through. That's still going well. It's just the depth that. It'd be nice to cut through quite a bit of the uh, the, the pillar inside. Slowly but surely we're getting there. I mean, to be fair, when you think how much I'm cutting through there, that blade, it's not disappearing. It's not going down really quickly, considering it is only, I think it's about one and a half millimetres thick. Trying to keep that all level, trying to keep the angle grinder at 90 degrees to the van. Hello. <laughs> yeah, we're still here, don't worry. Go on, carry on. Now, I wanted to try and go on, you can do it, be brave. <laughs> Ooh, straight through again, look, on a blind cut. In you go. Right, open heart surgery. I thought on this, it would be good to go upwards because then it's cutting inwards and the sparks are going to go inside the van rather than out all over the paintwork. 
but it's so much more difficult to cut almost against the against the rotor. You see that wall? Look at it! Look, trying to kick me out. I'm thinking if that does jerk out of there, it's going to make a right mess if I go up the side of the van. So I'm really trying to go slowly, but it keeps biting. I'm not going to go all the way. I'm just going to leave a, a millimetre of material there so that it is just... Ooh, look at it biting. That's fierce, that is. Careful as you go. Don't hit that guttering on the top. Oh, yeah. Squeakable moment, that one. Oh, he's going back in again. What's a bit more? Ooh, careful. Oh, we're getting brave now, look. We'll do some serious damage in a minute. Ooh, are you going to switch that off? Turn your angle grinder off, then you'll chop your leg off or something. I'll tell you what, health and safety is non-existent around here. Look at him walking around with it. All right, we're going in here now. No, we're not. Oh, that way up. Sorry. No, this is the thought process in my mind. I'm thinking, I don't want to get the sparks over the paintwork, so I'm going to turn it the other way up. <laughs> no, maybe that's not working, I bet. I'm getting sparks all over my phone. All over the camera. <laughs> End up doing my camera in and getting uh, burn marks all on the screen. <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, now what do I do? Do I mask it off? Do I turn the angle grind around? Do I go inwards? Is it going to grab? Is it going to bite? Where are them sparks going? You can see the cogs going around in my mind, look. I don't quite know what I'm going to do here. I think I'm just going to carry on. I think I'm just going to go for it. No, I'm not. <laughs> and we're going to turn it around and go against it. Oh, Which means it's going to be hard going if I go that way. Yeah, I think I am. I think I'm going to go against the grain again. Oh, could it bite in? No, I can't go that way, surely. Yeah, no. Oh, he's not happy. He's not happy with the outcome of that. Come at it from a different way. Is that what we're going to do? Turn the, turn the grinder off before you chop some of it off. About chop through my phone then. Oh dear. I do worry myself sometimes. Right, we're going from this way then. Here we go. Come on. Let's get this old cut out. There we go. Don't go too far. It's got to be right. And then let's work his way down. Now that's a better... It's a better way, but we are getting sparks going over the paintwork again. But what do you do? I'd rather go this way with the sparks and having a clean cut than to try and force it back the other way with it jerking and biting. I don't know, what are you thinking now? Uh -huh. No, we're going at it again. They can't make my mind up, look. <coughs> Oh no, I'm just going to start jerking again. We're going to go that way all the way. Oh, I'm going to fight it tonight. Try and keep the sparks off the paintwork, but go with the the jerkiness, holding it really tight, trying to fight it. It's, it's fighting me as I'm trying to go along. If I turn the angle grinder the other way up, the actual body of it is rubbing on that nice fresh paint underneath. So. It's, it's like a no-win, really. I either go against it or I scratch the, the paintwork. You can hear it just trying to, to grab. It's a slow, slow old cut this way. It's definitely quicker going at it the other way. And when we get to those stanchions that come down on the inside, it's definitely going to... You're going to hear the difference. Here we go. Here's one. Still going though. Slowly but surely. Just taking my time, working along. There's a big one on this second panel where the two panels join. There's a big stanchion there. Mm. 
It's also got seam sealer in it as well, so that will make a difference. We had a little moment there. Come on, Jen, there you go. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. New blade needed. New blade. Let's get a new one in there. Yeah, just swap it over, look. There you go. Tweet that up. Look at that, a fresh cutter. Let's go for it. See if that makes any difference. I'm going to set fire to my coat at this rate as well. <laughs> I wonder where all them burn holes came from. I can see now. I thought it went all welding. Alright, we threw the pill off. So we're going to go back a bit the other way. Ooh, that was close. That came out, that did. Come on, gently, gently. Take your time. I'm feeling nervous for myself here, and I know why I'll cut it. It's a nice day for it though. Sun's out. Got some shadows on the uh, side of the van. Come on, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. It ain't too far to go now. Oh, he's come out again. Take your time. There we go, we're there. Oh, thank goodness for that. I've still got all my fingers on me on my hands. So, these are the stanchions on the inside that we've just got to uh, find his way through. I've just got that longer blade in there, so it's just going to take a little bit more out of it. I'm just going to go through these few that, I've, uh, that I didn't have the longer blade in. You just see they're not quite going all the way through. They're just leaving a little bit of material. And I'll have to come round on the inside and finish this off. So I'm going to take off a couple of these. I've also, there's a, about a millimetre in the top right hand corner that's holding it in. So we'll just work through these and then obviously try and hold it while we take out the last one. Because I'm here on my own, I've got no help today. So um, I'm going to chance it, see if I can do it all myself. I could do with three pairs of hands, but... Hey ho. And if I drop it, it'll go straight down the side of the van and put a massive gash in it. I'm not tempting fate or anything, but. Look at me, look. I'm looking at this thinking now. If I chop that and I chop that, will it fall out? <laughs> <laughs> the cogs are going around in the old mind, and uh, I'm just double checking with myself what I've got to do. Ooh, look at that go now, look. She's getting loose, look. It's getting loose. <laughs> Don't drop that, don't cut it so it falls out, whatever you do. Yeah, make sure you double check it. Oh, can you see the disaster coming? Can you feel it in your water? I can feel something going happen in a minute. Oh, he's getting carried away, look. Chomping through this metal. I hope the side of the van don't fall, fall out altogether. The van will probably collapse, folding off. <laughs> right, yeah, you've got that one left still, so you can cut through that one. You've got it. Here we go, come on. Yeah, ooh, you're a fighter. <laughs> that was close. Still got that bit on the top right hand corner though, holding it, so it's definitely not going to drop, but look, it's, it's right loosey goosey now. It's almost ready to come out. We're nearly there. So, we're going to chop a bit of that one out. Are you sure? Uh, here we go. Oh, I hope it don't fall out. Ooh. 
close, it's close. Hold it tight, don't drop it. Oh, look at him, one-handed now, look. Oh, yeah, beauty. Oh, yeah, that is loose. Just that little bit holding it at the top and a tiny bit in the top corner now. There ain't much holding that in. And I'm thinking to myself, what do I do? No, I'm going to go for it. Come on, let's get it out. Grow some. Grow a pair. Let's get it chopped out. Come on, you can do it. Give it a bash. Here goes nothing. Oh, oh, he's all over the gaff. He's all over the gaff. Don't chop through the roof. It's close to that roof panel, that is. That's, that blade is really close. I haven't got a lot to play with there, to be fair. That is really, really close. Yeah, come on. Oh, you can do it. Just that last little bit. It's almost out, look. It's so close to... Yeah, just a little bit. Watch the roof. Ooh, it's there somewhere. Come on, be brave. Is it there? Yeah, there it is. There it is. So all we've got now is that one last bit. And I'm wandering around with this grinder spinning still. Don't drop it, whatever you do. Don't drop the grinder either. When that thing falls out, you try to catch that, the grinder could come out and land on your head. Drop your leg off. Lose your hand. Oh, oh, no. Oh, look at the control. It's all controlled. It's not done bad. I've surprised myself with that. <laughs> What's your own? We got a hole. Hello, sir. Would you like a coffee? <laughs> what do you rate to that? Ah, that's great, isn't it? It's moved through that, no problem at all. Got a nice base now to start with the fabrication. Well, time to get some uh, sharp edges removed from around this where we've cut it off. We'll get the little Milwaukee grinder on there. Got a nice 80 grit in it, and that'll just take off those um, those sharps all the way around there. Tracking bit of kit. I love this one in no time. Especially when you do it on warp speed. Anyone I think he looks pleased with himself. Right, these little tops of the stanchions there. Now this is where the worktop's gonna sit. So the oak worktop is gonna sit on top of the flat that goes all the way along, but obviously these, these uprights are in the way there. So I've just gotta whip those off, grind them tops off there, and then we'll have a nice platform all the way along. This is gonna be having some 27 millimeter oak worktops in it, and that little recess we've got there is, is perfect. That is the, just the right thickness for those worktops to sit on top of. And then we'll have a piece of um, angle iron, well, aluminium, angle aluminium, to line the, the inner edge onto the top of the worktop. So they've got to come out, that's got to be cleaned up. The smoke there is the seam sealer that's been used on these. This is where the two panels are joined together and um, yeah, it just gets really hot and smoking, but it cleans off a lot with the, uh, it just cuts through the metal and then just cleans off that seam sealer there. That's hot, I'm not going to touch that. I'm going to do the same with this one. Just clean it and level it up. These are decent bits of metal, you know, they're, they're quite sturdy. I think it's about 16 gauge, it's quite, quite thick.
Yeah. Oh. Good. Do I got my gloves on? That's for sure. There we go. And then we'll just uh, finish this one off. And there's one more on the end there. We're going to have to just uh, do the same thing for. Well, that's that sorted. That's that all cleaned up. I think the back of the van needs a good clear out now. I think it's time to have a good, good clear out onto the next stage. In the meantime, let's pull a bit of masking paper off. It's been on a while. We'll see how well it comes off. I'm not sure how this is going to work I mean, you know this masking paper, this has been on there, it's got wet, it rained on it, and I was a bit worried, but it's not, it's come off okay. We'll take it off the door handle as well. That looked too bad. That's come off quite nice, that. So we've got the box section there to bolster up the inside of this frame. Sit inside there a bit. There we go. In there like that. Bond that in with seam sealer, and then we're going to rivet the hinge through the side and onto it. Clamp it all together. It's really going to be nice and strong. Hold the band together with a bit up. That's quite nice. Isn't it? So we'll just get one to the other side now. We'll measure up that one. Cut that one. See how big that one is. Top. So, we'll those two. <laughs> so we got the whole cut out i hope you enjoyed that there's some tricky moments in there i wasn't too sure what was going to happen but um we did it we got there in the end i'll put all the links in the description for the tools i've used the grinding the discs and everything else if you're interested um thanks for joining me once again stay with me next episode is going to be fitting the new hatch fabricating a new hatch snail hinge getting all that done so um yeah stay with us thanks for staying with the project and i'll see you in the next episode please like and subscribe